On Tuesday, six Palestinian activists boarded Israeli buses in an attempt to challenge the system of segregation in the West Bank. We're going to try to ride segregated Israeli settler buses that are traveling on roads that were confiscated from Palestinians and the Palestinians today aren't allowed to travel on and they're serving these illegal settlers uh, that are sitting on our land. At the same time, we want to expose the companies that are complicit in Israel's policies. And two that we're highlighting today are the bus companies, Egid, and, uh, which is an Israeli company, and Violia, which is a French company. The Palestinian activists called themselves Freedom Riders after the American movement that began with Rosa Parks in 1955 and whose aim was to challenge the Jim Crow laws that legislated race-based segregation in the United States. In the West Bank, the wall Israel began constructing nearly a decade ago is only the most visible form of separation. While pockets of the West Bank are under civil administration by the Palestinian Authority, the entire territory is under Israeli military occupation since 1967. In that time, army commanders have issued hundreds of orders legislating segregation. Palestinians and Israeli settlers here live entirely separate lives. Jewish citizens live in Israeli colonies, such as here in Anatot, while Palestinians live in Palestinian areas, such as in the neighboring refugee camp of Anata. While Israeli settlers are subject to Israeli civil law, Palestinians are subject to Israeli military law, which means that while the two people live in the same area, if an Israeli and a Palestinian commit the same crime, they can be judged in separate courts and sentenced different sentences. On West Bank roads, Israelis and Palestinians are often separated by the road itself. The two have different license plates and travel for Palestinians is severely restricted with walls and checkpoints. The two also use separate transportation systems. Bus companies such as Violia and Egid service Israeli settlers, while Palestinian buses, taxis and minibuses service Palestinians. Fasal al-Hatib is a Palestinian living in Hizme, a village divided in half by a road in the wall. יש להם מסבר של האוטו זה בצבע, בצבע ירוק. רוב הכבישים, יש מחסומים. המחסום הזה, יש נגיד כבישים משותפים, המחסומים האלה רק מעמדים את הרוב הפלסטינים, מוקדים אותם, מסתכלים על המכוניות, מוקדים את הרכב. גם הגדיר הזה עשה לנו הרבה עקודה. יש אני מכיר הרבה אנשים, לא רחוקים שני מטרים או שלוש מטרים באמת, אחד מעל השני. Prohibited roads also vary in the level of restriction, and in the past the Israeli army even forbade Palestinians from riding inside Israeli cars. New Israeli-only roads are built with funds from USAID, the American Foreign Aid Agency. It is this system of segregation that the activists attempted to challenge. Not civil rights. We deal with terrorists. That's all. They're always throwing up these excuses of security. We're obviously not a security threat. We're sitting here peacefully saying we want to go to Jerusalem. They were refused entry on three separate buses before boarding a fourth. When the bus reached the checkpoint of Hizme, north of Jerusalem, all six activists and two Palestinian supporters were arrested. They were questioned by the Israeli internal intelligence agency, the Shabak, and released later in the day. For The Real News, I'm Leah Terachansky from Hizme Checkpoint in the occupied West Bank.